Hello and welcome back to the ASC Building Products e-commerce training video series. My name is Aaron, and I am one of the developers of the My ASC Profiles portal, our e-commerce site. This video will go over the basics of the cart, order history, and templates. Let's get started. Speaking of templates, let's start there. From the top left menu, select Save Templates. This screen will open the newest template, and in this case it's one I created for this video, that has a range of different kinds of products. I won't go into the details of each item, but if you want more information about how to work with these, take a look at some of our other videos. This list on the left shows all of the templates that have been created in the past for your company ID. That makes it easy to share templates with your coworkers. Your company may choose to delegate template building to one set of employees and leave the actual ordering to another. Here you will see a list of all the items in the template. You can add them one at a time by clicking this button here. If you have a big set of products that you order repeatedly, you can speed up the process considerably by making a single template that contains all of them, and then just add the ones you need to an order at a later time. Alternatively, you can add all of them at once by clicking Add All to Cart. If you haven't already selected it, the system will prompt you for a ship to and shipping method. Since the price of each item may have changed since the template was created, and since your shipping options may be different, each item is individually recalculated and then added to the cart. This will take more time if you have a lot of items, but when the process is finished, you are taken to the completed cart, and you will see that the items match what we saw on the template. From here, you can continue shopping normally for more items, or continue adding more template items if you wish. Just remember that you can return to the cart at any time by clicking the Cart button. The purchase order is a required field, and ideally will be unique for each order. If you can't think of anything to call it, you can also just double-click in the field to inject a current timestamp. The job name is an optional field that some customers like to use to further identify the purpose of an order. This system sets the order ship date by looking at the latest shippable date of each item in the order. If you find that one of the items is too far out and would like to receive everything else earlier, you can remove the item by clicking the Remove button here. Just remember to order it separately later. Verify that the order is shipping to the correct location. This is less of an issue if you only have one location, but it's still worth giving a once-over. The shipping plant tends to be the nearest ASC building product site to your destination, but it depends on the availability by location of the items in the order. Shipping instructions are just what they sound like. Additionally, if you have a document that you need to include in your order, you can upload common text or image types here. Keep in mind that these fields are provided for unusual circumstances, and so if you need to use them, I would recommend that you contact your customer service representative by phone and give them a heads up. The list of items contains thumbnails of the products that let you zoom in on the details if you need to verify anything prior to ordering. You can easily make quantity changes in most cases, except panels, which requires you to open this dialog. You can tweak X, Y, and custom trims in a similar way by clicking the green Modify button. You can also sort your cart by item type by clicking Sort Cart. If you ever need to start over, instead of logging out and back in, you can just click the Empty Cart button. In some cases, it is desirable to produce a printout of the cart just prior to ordering. We call that the pre-order summary. If you need to prevent the prices from printing, click Hide Prices, otherwise click Show Prices. Once this is done, the print dialog is opened, and you can fire it off to your printer. Just remember that the pre-order summary is not a quote or order confirmation, and doesn't represent a commitment of any kind. Assuming your account has the permissions enabled, your final options are Save a Template and Place Order. If you click Save a Template, your entire cart will be converted into a template, which we've previously gone over. Place Order brings up the Confirm Order dialog, giving you a final chance to print a pre-order summary and a quick review of the order price. If something looks off, click Back to Review to make any required changes. Otherwise, click Confirm, and your order will be uploaded to ASC Building Products, and you will receive your order number. You can write this number down. However, the order will also appear in your online order history, which we will take a look at now. Once your order is confirmed by our internal system, you should receive an email. Confirmed sales orders also provide an order confirmation PDF, which you can download anytime you need it, or just view online. That's it for this video. If you have any questions about the cart, order history, and templates that aren't covered in this video, please contact your ASC representative. And as always, feel free to take a look at our other videos to learn more. Have a great day.